Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Marco and I like projection mapping. So in this video, I want to show you how you can use the integrated Kantan Mapper tool uh, inside Touch Designer to create masks for your projection surfaces. Yeah, this is basically just a 2D mask that you um, apply and then you can well, uh, add any content and this will only be projected inside your mask. Um, of course, if you have content that kind of looks 3D, like uh, the one you see in a couple of seconds, like this one here, uh, you also get a 3D effect. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I share this workflow to create uh, animations like this just from a photo of your production surface on my Patreon. You can check it out. It's a Comfy UI workflow, which uh, works almost automatically. You just have to input your um, photo of your production surface. Anyways, this video is about Kantan Mapper. So let's open the palette under mapping and then add the Kantan Mapper. Open the window and open the window options. And in here, we first set our monitor. Uh, in this case, uh, it's in my case, it's one. That's where my projector is. I deactivate borders, always on top on, and open a separate window. Do that on the opening size, go to fill, hit update, so that it gets the resolution of your projector. Also in the Kantan window, just set the correct resolution. And now, as you can see, when you hover with your mouse, either inside the Kantan Mapper field or on the right, you see this crosshair and you can start to create a free form. So you see uh, on the left under tools, I just clicked the right icon, which uh, lets you create a free form. Okay, and then I basically just start to trace the outline of my uh, structure. And you can also add points later. Uh, so yeah, in case you forget something or you want to adjust it a little bit, um, you can also do that later. So I'm just gonna do the out outline here and also a uh, note on the head. I didn't put too many points there because I can add more later and also we can make uh, the lines between the uh, points uh, round. We can make curves out of them. We'll get to that in a second. So here I just finished the outline and there you can see under convert key when you click it and then you select a key and you can drag it to um, yeah, make a curve uh, out of these straight lines. So in case you have any organic or round shapes, um, yeah, this is your tool to go. So yeah, I'm just adjusting all this here a little bit. And you can also just uh, choose single points and adjust them with your uh, keyboard arrow keys. So yeah, you can just click them and then move them pixel by pixel. This is what I'm doing here right now, just to add some little, or to fix some little things. Okay. So this kind of looks, I think, pretty good, the mask. So here I just show it to you where well, we have like a little bit uh, around the fingers and maybe here and there uh, a small pixel. But yeah, for me, that's now fine. Uh, but of course, if you're having like a production or something, or a commercial project or whatever, uh, make sure to get the mask uh, correct. Okay, then we can add some content. So I'm just gonna drop my pre-rendered content from my 
uh, Confio UI workflow that you can find on my Patreon in here, but you can also use your own animations or content. And then you just have to drag and drop the top operator onto the mask. But as we see, it doesn't really line up. So I click on edit texture here and uh, I make sure that I have selected the um, key points on the top left, transform keys. And then I'm just gonna drag it till it uh, fits my surface. Yeah, if you have uh, content that is not especially made for the uh, surface of your um, of your protection surface. Uh, you probably don't need that step, but because I have content that adapts uh, perfectly to my object, yeah, I need to line that up, of course. So here again, I just want to show it to you. As you can see, I'm getting some uh, shadows, especially here on the side of the head or from the hands. Um, and also the boxes are not uh, projected from the top because my projector is uh, yeah, standing on a table here and I don't have too much space to uh, position it properly. But I still think uh, yeah, for like a quick home setup, that looks really cool. Okay, now, well, I'm just gonna create a noise top here and uh, we can see how it looks when we use a noise instead of the animation that I created before. And yeah, also just gonna animate it here with apps times dot seconds times 0 0.2. And yeah, like I said, you can really drop any um, content on here that you want. Of course, if you have content that really fits the shape of your uh, object, then uh, yeah, it looks way cooler. Otherwise, it's just like a 2D mask that you are doing here. But yeah, in the moment, I'm um, doing a lot of research on uh, projection mapping. As some of you maybe know, I study digital arts and creative technologies. And yeah, in the next three months, I'm going deep into production mapping. So stay tuned for more.